These next few days are dedicated to work, packing, prepping, and getting everything ready before we go on our trip. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's go. It's currently 8 o'clock and I'm on my way to work. First order of business today is picking apples. So, I've got my apron and we're ready to hit the road. Smells divine. <laughs> Kayla made sourdough today, and so I just basically helped her. I helped her knead the dough, and then we also formed the loaves. I also helped her form the loaves, 
And, well, it's been a busy day today. What did we do? We picked tomatoes again. We do it once a week. Then we did other teeny tiny work. Um, what did we do? Pick a few roast cucumbers. We weed. Oh, yeah. Carrots, beets, parsnips, things like that. That's still gonna be in the garden for a while. I also wanted to say that by the time this vlog is gonna be live, we are gonna be traveling. <laughs> Slide yeah, you know how I do it. I want to. This is my plan. If it's gonna go that way, I don't know. But I want to finish it and upload it on Sunday, and then on YouTube you can um, you can schedule it to upload whichever day and whichever time you want to upload it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna be uploaded on Sunday, but I will schedule it to go live around I don't know, maybe Thursday, Friday. But yay! Mm-hmm. Where are we traveling to? <laughs> We're traveling across the provinces, to across three provinces <laughs> to BC. BC, yeah. We're gonna. We're making stops in Alberta, BC, um, Saskatchewan. No, I don't think we're gonna stop. Okay, so we're not stopping in Saskatchewan, but we're we have activities and fun things planned in Alberta and BC, and we're so excited. We cannot wait. But anyways, yes, that's what this vlog is. Just a quick little glimpse of the work that we did to prepare for our trip. Just in case you're confused, I'm not baking this week. We have three people that make the sourdough bread. So we go make sourdough bread whenever it is finished. And it can be in our bake week. Um, sometimes it happens in our bake week. Um, quite often it also happens when it's not our bake week. We just go whenever it's finished. But another thing I want to show you Look at this, look at this. <laughs> Yay, she's done and she's gorgeous. Now I just need to wash it. Normally I like to wash my fabric before I make my dress, but I was too excited to make this one so I didn't wash it, but it really needs to be washed because I rode here. I'm done and I'm excited. Today we have a free day. Yesterday we had a free day. Ugh. Mm, nice and flat, yay. I don't like my flat hair. I don't like my hair flat. But anyways, yesterday we had a free day. Today we have a free day, but tomorrow we might have to can tomatoes. Sometimes when we don't have enough tomatoes, but they are ready and ripe and need to be cleaned up, we wash them, put them in pails, and then we put them into the freezer until we have enough tomatoes to go make a recipe or a batch of something because we have a lot of tomato products that we need. Tomorrow we might be freezing the tomatoes for later or we might actually be canning something. And then tomorrow after lunch we want to pick cranberries. I'm doing my Friday cleaning today instead of tomorrow because tomorrow by the time we get home the day might be done. On Monday we are going on our trip. I actually said we're traveling across three provinces. We're not. I'm sorry about that. We're traveling across two. We're traveling across Alberta and Saskatchewan, making a few stops in Alberta, and then we're going to be traveling a little bit into BC, not across. And we are all pretty excited. We cannot wait. It'll be nice to get that work done and out of the way before we leave, and then we don't have to think about it anymore. So. The guys are also doing a work push this evening, but I'll leave them in peace for today. <laughs> I'm not gonna go check today. I really just need a shower. In the end, we did decide to just can them, so we made stewed tomatoes, which basically you blanch your tomatoes, remove the skins, 
um, cut them into quarters, put them into a jar with your pickling salt, pour water over them, put on your lids and then put them back into the tank and allow to cook for a, a certain amount of time. I'm not quite sure how long though. We got eight containers cranberries and cool. normally we need 12. I say containers because oh, it's, uh, I think we all use different containers for our, our amounts that we need. So thank you. <laughs> but yeah, normally we need 12. We only picked eight. There's still some cranberry juice left over in the freezer from last year. So we didn't need that much. And um, it was an it was nice because it was not easy picking the woods where cranberries are are just they're they're not the best woods they're not nice they're they're very overgrown that, uh, that's putting it mildly it was tough it was tough picking extras i don't think we really have it there's really nothing left at our patch nothing much to write home about nothing much that anybody else could use it was tough picking It's Saturday and I have not packed a single thing. So we're gonna have to do that. So far I have my dresses. I'm taking this cardigan thing with me, um, my shirts. And yes, we're gonna be gone at least 10 days. I don't know the washer dryer situation in the places we're staying, so better to be safe than sorry. I'm taking 10 plus one extra because I will probably do something that either where I either ruin a dress or I get one really messy and then over here we have my swimwear socks because we're gonna be we want to do quite a few hikes we have I have my leggings because it's supposed to be cold I also have my devotional and my journal that I'm taking with me and then because it's supposed to be cold I am taking my winter jacket with me just in case, just just in case. Some people might think this is nuts. We checked the weather and it's supposed to be fairly cold. Better to be safe than sorry. And I do have my big suitcase, so I have the room. But yeah, that's where I'm at so far. Kind of taking it step by step, just so that I don't forget anything. <sighs> One thing about me, which might be obvious at this point is I am a serious overpacker. I am the type that is rather to be safe than sorry. I have a big suitcase and I'm also taking my backpack. Oh, that reminded me. We're taking the water bottle with us. This is huge, but it'll come in handy.